Hey guys and girls, this is Garden Overkill. Once again after a pretty long break with another series of ancient domains of mystery. And well, let me say, great to be back. I got myself a new headset finally, so it might take an episode or two or three in order to get back into the perfect setup that you are used to from my channel. Uh, 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 um, <coughs> But well, you, you know how that works. Just tell me what I can do better and I will do my best to improve it until the next episode. So now, let's start. New game. I will probably um, decrease the volume a little bit on my headphones. I hope that won't change anything for you. So, here we are. We start a new game in roguelike mode, of course. We will play... Uh, What's going on? Did it crash? No. We will fate roll our star sign. We will play a female character for a reason I will tell you later. But a random race and a random task. We do f let fate decide about our skill points and start the game. You are born in the month of the tree. To be a female... Game effects, generally hard to change alignment, plus 5 willpower, plus 2 initial toughness, plus 1 PV. The toughness and the PV will definitely help us. To be a female rattling, aha, a rattling, that's what we are. You have grey hair, yellow eyes and a brown complexion. Your parents belong to the nobility. They are rich, respected, wealthy and own more than they can count. In your childhood, you were a credit to your family. Your people loved you and enjoyed your presence. As a youth, you spent a lot of time in the wilds, exploring woods and generally enjoying your freedom. You had a lot of fun and learned to value the treasures of nature. As a young adult, you were a credit to your family, so you stayed the credit of your family. Your parents supposed your, uh, supported your plans and were very understanding. They tried to help you along your way with all means at all uh, at their disposal, which should be a lot uh, taking into account how rich they were. At the age of 14, you end your apprenticeship, you are now a fully learned assassin. A rattling assassin. That's what we're going to play. We start with alert and the name of our first character is Muna. Muna is not only the name of the character that we play, Muna is also the name of one out of a group of two little kittens that just joined our family last weekend. That's the reason why I wanted to play a female character. We've got two female kittens. And I will play a series of two Adon games, one as Muna and the following one as Kuni, which is the name of our second kitten who just jumped onto my table and wants to say hello to you guys. Say hello, Kuni. Maybe she doesn't want, maybe she just wants to take a look at the game. So here we go. For 6,000 years, the world of Ancadia was a serene world, unmolested by the forces of chaos. But now the sinister forces of evil and darkness have opened a gateway somewhere deep within the mountains of the Dracalor chain. Terrors from unknown dimensions flood the world of Ancadia and wreck havoc, spreading corruption even faster. Now it's up to you to explore the Dracula chain, meet its inhabitants, find the source of chaos and defeat it. Or maybe even join forces with it to conquer the world. So we've got a very positive character, a uh, pleasant backstory good circumstances to, uh, to create uh, a strong body and a strong mind which will be necessary as an assassin in order to uh, succeed in this tough adventure. Let's take a look at our skills. 23 HP, not too much, but well okay. High defense value, we've got a couple points of protection which is better than nothing. 12 strength, maximum 19, we have to increase that, carry a lot of stuff around in the early game. 10 learning, at least we can read, that's enough. 
willpower 13, dexterity 20, really nice, we can get that pretty high if we do some herb training. Toughness 21, of course that was increased by our star sign. Rather low charisma that doesn't fit to Muna. Muna is a charming young lady. Also Muna is pretty cute, so appearance 7 maybe doesn't really fit her either. 11 points of mana and 20 perception, I think I can live with that. Let's take a look at our equipment. Here it is, we are wearing a hood that slightly increases our uh, weapon skills. A leather armor plus two protections, hooded cloak plus one defense. We have a light crossbow with corals, that's pretty cool. Wearing a short sword, wielding a short sword and a dagger. We do not want to double wield in the early game, so let's put the dagger away. Let's take a look at the rest of our equipment. A lot of daggers that we can throw if we want to. But we've got the crossbow, I kinda prefer that. Potions of poison, let's keep that in mind. We can poison our weapon if we need to do extra damage. And an iron ration. It doesn't look too bad, I think. Uh, I have to take some time to get used to the controls again. I didn't play a lot in the last time. Where, where was it? That's well in the wilderness. Anyways, let's find the rest out while we're playing. So, up here, that's Muna, and she's going to start her adventure now. We will do the standard start that I know from a long time ago when I was a bit uh, more um, accustomed to the controls and the game. What happens here? Hidden spot. You find a well-hidden secret campsite deep in the forest. Do you want to enter to explore it, secrets, or leave it behind, probably to never find it again? Let's enter it. That's not the start that I actually wanted to do, but uh, it sounds exciting. You enter a hidden campsite, reeking of musky oil and unwashed creatures of darkness. You feel uneasy. That sounds dangerous. So let's go in here slowly. We've got a goblin rock thrower down there to kill this guy. Target and fire. And we one shot it with a bow. 10 points of damage with a crossbow. That's uh, an ordinary goblin. Missed it. Missed it again. I hit it and killed it. 70 points of damage. We've got a couple of goblins. Okay, see it first. Let's finish the rock thrower. One shot and dead. 10 points of damage, which probably means they have 10 HP. Uh, I've got the feeling that the game is lagging quite a bit at the moment. Oh, that's a lot of them. Rock thrower, 50 points of damage. Ordinary goblin, 50 points of damage. And we run out of ammunition. So let's switch to our thrown daggers. Take the stack of nine and throw the daggers at this goblin. Nice. We did it. We don't want to carry a huge rock, but we take the small rocks, which would definitely help us. If we run out of ammunition. I actually uh, have been at this location once in the past when I uh, played a game last year, when I uh, did the last recording. So I know roughly what to expect here. Still, I am kind of noobish at the moment. I forgot a lot about the controls. I also, I'm sure I will make a lot of mistakes, but uh... What happened? Level 2. We made a new level. We started with alert, so let's... No, we didn't start with alert. Wait. Ah, no, 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 our talents, our talents. We need to increase our alertness. That's it. Also, let's go for... Probably detect item status, probably dodge, we definitely should increase our dodging in the early game. Never gonna be so easy in the in the future. Find weakness is good, a bit more literacy would definitely be handy. I think let's take literacy. How much did we get? I don't know. Up to 18, that's maximum, good. 
And I also want a bit of a couple of points into find weakness for a little extra damage. So, level two. Continue, finish off these guys. All from a distance. Pick up those rocks. Not forget to eat this corpse later. But first, continue fighting. Bro, bro. And we reach level 3. That's kind of a kick start. Continue with alertness. Detect item status. I definitely want to get that higher. And dodge. Also, now it's time to, to learn Miser, so we can get towards Treasure Hunter as early as possible. Uh, the Goblin Berserker will get pretty close, but we finished him off. Throwing daggers are pretty tough in the early game. Good weapons. Oh, 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 I was uh, kind of attacked by a, by, a, by, a, by a cave lion who jumped from my... Uh, from my leg and uh, put its claws into my flesh. Well. Okay, the first time we have to find in melee range, but I think we do more damage if we keep throwing. Yes, we do. Rock, fortune cookie, emergency food, rock, watery potion, watery potion, always good to have in this game. And I remember there was probably something down here behind this door. We cannot open this, so let's kick. Yeah, who are you? Take a look. This is swordsman, an ordinary swordsman. Can we talk to him? Thanks for saving me. I pledge my sword to you and will serve you faithfully as a sign of my gratitude. Oh, we got an ally. That's pretty handy, I think. That will give us a lot of, uh, of a bonus for the early game. Kick this door, probably another swordsman? No. Before we continue here, let's check what's behind this door, which maybe we can go the other way around and check from the outside what we have here. No? Oh, we can. Ah, an ogre. An ogre might be a bit dangerous to fight at the moment. So I retreat one step. Hope he cannot one-shot us. Ah, we killed him. Excellent. Level 4. I want to increase archery a bit. Uh, continue with alertness. And continue with dodge. Dodge and alertness are so good to have early on. I do not want to waste this opportunity. What did he uh, protect? Uh, an ordinary broadsword, sells for good money at least. A blessed cyan potion. Piece of raw meat, we have to directly eat that. Piece of fresh meat, bread and gold. Nice! This ogre had a pretty cool treasure. Maybe there's even some more stuff. Rocks, we take the rocks. We take these rocks as well. We are burdened now, which is good, because we want to train our strength. Already now I can say that it was worth entering this... Uh, what did I... I forgot picking up the corals. Stupid me. So what do we have here? Kick the door. Always from a diagonal angle. Here we have Goblin Chieftain and Hobgoblin Leader. These are the, the bosses of this uh, location. Swap to our thrown daggers, which are probably our best weapon at the moment. And attack. One shot the, the leader. Two shot this guy. He, he, hit, he did one hit on us. So let us apply first aid. Without success. We cannot. We don't get another try. The daggers take the corals. We will now swap pick to our crossbow and use the corals. So I guess that might be everything we can do here. But I'm pretty happy with that. It makes it a bit tougher to go for the early game I originally intended to do. But let's quickly 
Room variants. I'll try to evade them. You can. Hobgoblins. Let's quickly enter the small cave. Hope there is uh, there's just one rat. Uh, several items are lying here. Quickly kill this rat. No, it's not. It's not hostile. So it can stay alive if it wants. Can we read those scrolls? Do not manage. Do not manage. 148 paces away. And now the red is also. You see, the red is already pretty strong, which is because we are not level 1 anymore, so we're spawning level 8 red in here, which is nothing to take lightly. I like. Oh, there it is. Time is working against you. I'm not gonna try to scout this location now because it's already too late we are too high in level but now we can without a problem fight these uh, overland encounters we are already quite seasoned at killing goblins so let's continue that that's a female hop goblin I think with the long hair probably out of ammunition Swap to the throne daggers. Kill this guy, kill that guy. We are a beast with our throne and shooting weapons. Alert notes further. I take one more into archery. And that dodge is not worth anymore. Let's take detect item status. I want to get that higher as well, so we have a bit less trouble increasing our equipment while making use of the loot that we find. Throwing some rocks now. I should make sure to get thrown rocks a bit higher, at least over time, so we can uh, so we can uh, use all those rocks that we picked up and. Uh, not get into any danger of uh, of running out of ammunition. Anything hostile around here? Doesn't se seem so. I want to take a look into the black market. Uh, those legs are a bit annoying. Maybe I can find out how to get rid of them for the next episode. Yeah, black market. Here we go. What does he sell? Mithril Drakish Skugari, cool. Scroll of Charging, pretty cool. I pick up the good stuff. Raw meat, Ring of Cold Resistance, not bad either. Garnets, they give plus one protection. Dagger of Broadsword, Carrot Juice, why not? Uh, broken Tiny Key, I will not take that. Sorge of Mithril Girdle, cool. Some food, Mandolin. Potion, want of monster, ah, monster creation is not really important. Identify is good now, we know how identify looks like. Let us drop all unpaid items. How was the command to do that? Like this? Yeah. Drop unpaid items. Can I take all of them now? That was not drop unpaid items. I see all my items, not just the uh, unpaid ones. And that's a bit annoying. No, 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 stop. Potion, this potion. Okay, we, we play it slowly. We, we just play it slowly. It's no problem if we uh, do not know all the shortcuts now. I take all the remaining items here and stack them elsewhere. So drop unpaid items. That's all the unpaid items. I, oh, oh, and I got out of the menu after dropping one of them. Let me, let me, let me check if I can drop unpaid items and take all of them. Yeah, that's how it works. Excellent. Getting there, guys. Getting there. Can we pickpocket? No. So let's learn that. Oh, 
Would you like to buy thieves picks for 2,500 gold pieces? No, I would not like to do that. Well met. Methinks that ye should prove your skill and valor before we talk about business. Do you not train me how to do the business? Buy. Oh, apparently does not. Okay, I can live with that. By the way, we are neutral, so I'm not gonna take the quests from uh, from Hudson Plots. Rather, let's leave this place and enter the next uh, location. No, wait, that was not the location. That's not la uh, here. That's where I wanted to go. Tirinio. You completed the quest to find Tirinio. Press Q to see all your quests. Plus five experience points. Cool. That gives you a little experience now. I think that's new. Do not want to buy any food from you guys. Apparently now you start in Terrinio right uh, at the top of the shop, which is pretty handy if you're low on food. Let's talk to the tiny girl. Has you seen my little doggy? It disappeared near a dark hole on the pass. Me fears it got lost. Would you get it back for me? Hurry, mummy says. There are bad, bad things in the cave. We do that. Now we've got a quest. Talk to at least three important people in Tirinio. Ah, that's another quest. Let's do the two. We talk to one of them. But who will be the second? Do we want herbalism or healing? Important question, as always. But I think I'd rather go for healing. So we do not talk to good Alak over here, but this guy right uh, above us is Tuvat Para, the sheriff. He grunts, listen, Karnak the Raider Lord is roaming the countryside. He's a nasty raider out on pillage. Slay him and you'll receive a nice reward. We do that. Eilers, abide by the law and us will be friends. You know, we set bounties on the heads of criminals. Bring him in. Keep that all in mind. And the third person we want to talk with. Wait. I'm kind of losing my orientation in here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I do not want to attack Raven. I want to talk with them. We're in the village, all our grants. We have been troubled by dark forces from the west. Old stories speak about a strange cave in the central western area. You might want to go there. But me feels you should earn more experience before you venture into that dark region. Us village, uh, us village is uh, pestered by critters from the cave to the southeast. The village carpenter tried to explore the dungeon, but was not seen again. It would be great if you could discover his whereabouts. We definitely do that. And we finished the quest to talk to three guys uh, in the town. So let's do that right now. Go over here and at this little dungeon. We complete the quest to uh, find the dungeon near the village. Press Q to see all your two quests. Wait, 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 wait. We're not gonna do that now. If we did that, it would mean that we did not get a chance to save the puppy. We definitely want to save the puppy, so we go here. Puppy cave. I'd like to do this heroic deed of a newbie trap and maybe save the puppy. We've got five points of protection. We should be strong enough to do so. Identify scroll. Cool. If you can bless that, it would be very helpful. lying on the ground. Good. The more keys we have, the less the risk to uh, step into traps. Okay, this guy looks... Uh, he was neutral, but I don't care. I don't want him stepping my back when I want at least. Oh, 
always take care of these rats. They can probably spread diseases. We found the downstairs. Do we want to go downstairs already? I don't think so. Oh, wait, no, we're on a timer, so let's do it. Let's try to... No, I don't think we're strong enough to just dive. I would rather try to get a piece of equipment or two from this level, maybe also the next. Take like these lumps of clay. Anything we forgot? No. Now we can go downstairs. Probably there's a hidden room uh, right uh, to the to the west from here. We'll find that out later. Direct from the downstairs, there's a pixie. The pixie must die. Oh, luckily it didn't drop a corpse. If it had dropped a corpse, that would uh, bring me into a dilemma. <laughs> I also ch check. Okay, that's the uh, the end level. I definitely do not want to fight the ants now. So let's go to the downstairs. Close this door and go downstairs. With a couple of. But this one is uncursed, so we can check that. But we stay with... Uh, the dagger is actually better than the broadsword. That's a pretty nice dagger. Let's take that for melee fighting. Then the short sword. Let's leave the bat. That's a small shield, and I think I want to use the small shield. I think I want to use it. We've got three undead slaying corals, and I completely wasted them. Damn. Two points of protection is not cursed. That's good. Uh, two points of defense, of course. Friendly orc. You can create poison from any potion now. That's actually pretty handy. I never made use of that uh, of that ability, but probably I should. Probably I will. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue with our. Alertness, let's continue with... Oh, dodging is worth again, let's do that as well. And detect item status, nah, nah, nah. That's just 1d5, that's not worth, maybe. Literacy is 44, let's increase our literacy. Probably at one point we have to read something. Or maybe swimming, if we have to swim. Nah, let's take a bit of swimming. I will regret it if I don't do that and uh, we get to a river. A little more swimming. Finally, it's also time to learn Treasure Hunter. Find more treasures. We absolutely want that. The old Treasure Hunter debate. I'm still uh, a big fan of Treasure Hunter. That's a key, I think. A rock. Option cookie. And we found a blessed wooden wand. Since I'm completely out of the knowledge I once had about this game, I do not know if wooden wands were something in particular. Do I know? Should I know what it does? No clue, to be honest. We'll throw a rock stool here. It's neutral. He can stay alive for a while at least. Okay. He's not neutral anymore. So he has to die. 17 blessed arrows and a tethered tome. That, uh, the arrows are a very good finding if we get a bow. What is this? That's uh, a rabbit dog. I think a big dog. Ouch. The goblin landed two hits on us. Can we apply first aid? Ah, it doesn't work. But maybe it's at least a little training for our first aid skill. Yeah. Go downstairs to the next level. 
This is uh, the last level before the cavernous level. So from the next one on, it will get dangerous. Do we have torches? No, we don't. So this is a bit risky. Enter this room. If we are a hero. We love to live a dangerous life. Do not want to fight you. You want to lock the door? Yes, I want. So we will not see this kitty cat again. Battle axe from the gnome. Battle axe sell for good money. Bandage might be helpful if we start bleeding. Let's also kill this big dog. Awesome. Oh, we get a torch. Cannot light it, but well, we've got it. Despite the fact that we are looking like a rat, we are actually a cat. As I told you, Muna. So we have to fight these dogs. And there's also a good reason, apart from uh, our spoilers uh, about the later game, why we should not kill other cats. If we can avoid it, by any means. Okay, now we've got a little bit of a problem. Um, it looks very much like the downstairs are in this room up there. Well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe they are in the darkness. That's one thing that we can still try. Is that a doppelganger? An yeah, ordinary doppelganger though. I think we should be able to kill it in melee. Yes, we can. This guy is a bit dangerous. I want to use the thrown daggers against him. Good. Uh, okay. So if the stairs are not in the dark room, then uh, we will not do. Uh, we will not uh, finish the the girl's quest successfully because I do not want to kill this cat. I do not want to go into one room with this cat even. Something seems to be leading downwards. Okay, here are the stairs. That makes the whole thing more interesting. Strange metal girdle. I don't think we picked that up. What we would now love to see is an early and easy to reach down staircase. But I don't think we get that. Hmm. Cannot outrun this guy. Switch for the daggers and hope we can kill him quickly. Oh fuck, that's dangerous. Got rid of this guy. Now the Chaos Brother. Yes, good. I did not want to have this guy next to me. Dagger and an onyx ring. I wanted to pick up this necklace. What kind of a lizard is that? That's a cape lizard, okay. Good. Okay, this guy is pretty tough. Kill it. Good. Oh, that was close. Level 7. Alertness. Archery. Cannot get dodge any further. But I want to get a couple more points. Um, oh damn, I really don't know. Literacy? Literacy. A bit higher. Literacy is now at uh, 18. Which is not particularly high. 
Let's get the tire. Ah. Oh damn, it's lagging again. Uh, we're pretty low on HP at the moment, so let's be a bit more careful. Thick gun, that's excellent. That's a uh, guaranteed bonus to our protection value. It's in they're cursed, okay, so we cannot use rings for the moment, but we've got two extra points of protection value. At the moment, that's definitely worth. We're pretty low on HP. Uh, maybe check. I do not go two rooms away from the from the staircase. <sighs> I think that's too dangerous. Let's not do it. Let's not dive and die in the puppy cave. I do not want that to happen. I would have loved to save the cute dog, but well, a... We are a cat. We do not need to save the dog. We have to kill the were though. Before it spawns millions of other rats. Ah, and it has a boomerang. The strange stick is definitely a boomerang. That's cool. You can sell that for tons of gold. At least you could when I last played the game. That will be a big uh, bonus to our f uh, finances when we reach Dwarf Town. Let me check our weapon skills by the way. We've got daggers and knives at level 5 which is pretty good. Level 2 at swords, crossbows 2, thrown daggers 4 and thrown rocks 3. I want to get thrown rocks a little higher because that's what we have most projectiles of. So let's throw rocks like a mad rat cat. We are getting hungry, so let's maybe eat. Ah, I forgot to eat the, the raw meat, didn't I? Yeah, of course I did. Mm, wait, there was a shortcut to go to the stairs. Yes, there was. So that's a very conservative, very careful start into the game that we're playing, but uh, that's my cute little kitty and I don't want it to die. <laughs> Talking about cute little kitties, uh, Kuni returned meanwhile and is again sitting on my legs and sleeping, <laughs> which is so incredibly cute. I wish I could show you. Let's eat the fire beetle corpse. Maybe with a little luck it makes us resistant to fire, which would be absolutely amazing. But I think it's just a 10% chance. Ogre. So one step back, I try not to allow him to surprise us. Switch to the daggers. And throw. 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 Yeah. The tough enemies should ideally never use, uh, never get into melee range. Ah, uh, legs. Ah, pretty annoying. Seriously. I don't like this. Dagger. Scroll and let's eat the lizard man cops. And here we go. So let's continue. And now we really want to get in here. Yeah, why do I throw my daggers at this small stupid rat? Will we ever know? I don't think so. The first levels of the Druid dungeon should be pretty easy. I should have done the beginner's dungeon first. Oh man, stupid me. Hi. <laughs> I'm sure you are screaming at the screen all the time. Gordon, what are you doing? Did you ever play this game? Maybe I didn't. 
We have 52 HP, that should be enough to, to survive a trap. That should be sad, we take that. That could really be interesting for us if we are going to become a real missile fighter, which I seriously consider. A lawful altar, uh huh. I do not want to convert though. I'd rather like to find a neutral altar elsewhere. Strain now. We already gained one point of learning, which is pretty cool. I just see that, by the way. We did not gain any strength, though, and strength would be very important to have. A white marble, that's definitely a lawful altar. Mm. Slowly, slowly, but surely we're also regenerating our hit points, which is kind of cool. Yeah, those are... Uh, cursed gauntlets that we are wearing at the moment uh, we want to get rid of them at one point because we definitely have to uh, oh here's another uncursed ring that we cannot use now that's the reason uh, but uh, at the moment I think having this cursed ring is still better than uh, 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 this cursed pair of gauntlets is still better than having most of the most of the rings we could possibly find at this moment. It's two points of protection. I, I told you a long time ago, protection absolutely in this game equals early game survival. The more you have, the longer you survive, the stronger you be. And if you just survive long enough, the game will give you everything you need to win the game. And we must have a secret door somewhere. Because otherwise... Or is there still a corridor down there? I think there is a corridor. Getting hungry. Yeah, there is a corridor down there. Completely forgot about that one. And the stairs will be in the very last room we find. Yeah, I think I already told that in the in the last run I played. Uh, I really like these numbers popping up, uh, those little pop-ups over the head of the enemy avatars and uh, uh, enemy um, figures and uh, our own avatar. We fall down the stairs though, it's not so nice. First aid maybe? We do not manage to take care of the humans. Large ration, let's eat that. We are already burned enough, I'd, I'd say. That's quite a lot of enemies here. Three to be precise. Can we the Orc Knight from here? Uh, so far, really, the biggest upgrade we got were these cursed thick. Uh, Garnets. I'd like to get maybe something more. A sling? Wow. Do we want to use the sling? Ah, slings are always such a question for me. They do more damage. They are pretty cool. There are also uh, there's also a pretty nice artifact sling. It was called Whirlwind. But uh, on the other hand, if you lose your sling, then you lose a lot of damage compared to just throwing the rocks. Well, you cannot. Uh, use anything. We already have got thrown rocks at level... Sling skill is level 0, but thrown rocks is level 4, so we get a bonus of 8 to hit and 6 damage to, uh, if we throw the rocks. And, uh, it would take a while till the sling would be as effective as that. I think I'm not gonna use the sling. Oh, that's a lot of them, guys. Good chance to train our throne rock skill further. None of them should be a danger to us if I take a look at our health bar. Meanwhile, we got another visitor. That's Muna. That's the original Muna. <laughs> Just turn in to say hello to the virtual Muna. Which 
which is kind of cool in my eyes. Wooden shield is a guaranteed additional point of protection. Nice. I'm pretty sure I want to give that a try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's do that. So, away with the small shield, use the wooden shield. And, oh, oh my god, it's a minus two wooden shield. That one sucks big time. Let's drop it. Luckily, it is not cursed. That would have kind of been a throwback. Kill this jackal. Come on. Kill it. Throw the rock. Strength 13. We got our first increase to our strength skill, which is pretty handy because we are heavily burnt. Not to say strange. Oh, whoa, 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 what happened? A fireball. Luckily, it did not destroy anything. Which kinda lets me hope that the fire beetle cops we ate earlier in this episode uh, showed an effect. That would be amazing. Amazing, of course, we are. We've got fire resistance so early in the game. But, uh, let's not be too optimistic. Maybe it was just a lucky roll. Advanced to level 8. Let us increase a little bit alertness. I want to get it above 60. Let's increase archery further. Is dodge worth? Uh, maximum 5. Rather not, I guess. Rather not, but we get a lot for... Uh, no, not either. What else do we want to increase? I think let's take one more roll on swimming, just in case that we have to swim through a deep and dangerous river. I do not want to drown to death. I had so many characters in this game drowning to death because I did not skill my swimming skill in the early game. But usually it was, or at least often it was because I took big risks. Sometimes it was because of unlucky dungeon layout and I just couldn't progress without uh, without swimming through uh, a river or a lake. That's the great thing about random dungeons. Sometimes they just show you the finger and say, F you. Oh no, I don't want to carry a bone around. Let's just eat the bone. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Crispy. There's another fire beetle. And we've got thrown rocks to level 5 now. That's already pretty high. Of course, once again, the... Oh, we already had the downstairs. Okay, we just wanted to scout the whole level apparently. Okay, okay. Works for me. So let's scout the rest as well before we go downstairs. Oh no, what happened? Two of your rocks got shattered now. Yeah, the rocks, that's not so important. And therefore we get a lot of experience and a whole room full of kobolds. Luckily the shamans stood in front so we could kill them quickly. Some nice training for our Okay, the shaman got a spell off, but not nothing that uh, we have to be afraid of. What do we have here? Studded leather armor. That's increased uh, protection by one. Breast bracers do not have an effect. Let's, uh, take the dagger. The short bows. The rocks. Yeah. The rocks. A metal ingot, which is a mithril ingot. Two unknown potions, a cobalt shaman corpse, which uh, we might eat if it uh, is not rotted away until we reach the healer. 
ate a large portion to make some room in our equipment. Come on, Muna, go! For the stairs now. And on this level, we will find the healer. So if we can get them in time. Oh, we have to eat one more large something. Maybe an iron ration? That's enough, yeah. Already got strength 14 and here is the healer. So now let's quickly eat the cobalt shaman cops. Feel really bad. You also feel closer to the mana flow. Yeah, excellent. That's what I wanted. We get a bonus to mana, and the healer can directly heal us. I want to get healed. I will be able to heal you six more times. So, we are healed now. We are not uh, sick anymore, and we've got the bonus point to mana that we wanted. Excellent. Luckily, he didn't completely. Uh, res Sadly, he didn't completely restore our health, which is because uh, because um, we had a what happened? To, ah, we have to wipe our face. Gives us one point of appearance. Nice. Which is because we had uh, reduced hit points from the disease that we got from eating the cobalt corpse. So we are still a little bit. Uh, uh, a little bit wounded, but well, um, it should be okay. We'll regenerate that over time, even without the healing skill. This. Booby trapped. We got no damage from the roaring flames. Another argument that shows us that we might have been lucky. Second fire trap. Still no damage from the fire. Maybe we are actually fire resistance, which would be really cool. Kill these lizard men. Remember, we have treasure hunters, so these rooms are double worthy for us. Light boots, rocks, bandage, scroll, and gold. So pretty cool that our strength is slowly going up. 14 right now. What was the maximum? 19, I think. Yes, 19. Here are the downstairs. I think we scored the rest of the level. Yes, we did. So let's go down. Already village level 5. Here are the downstairs. We do not want to rush downstairs. Okay, let's... Bat is particularly dangerous for us as a rat because rats have a low lifespan. So let us use dagger. What did I do? Nothing. Let's use us. Let us use daggers against this guy. In very defensive mode, throw the daggers, and we get it. Good. I do not want the ghost bat to hit us because it would age us and it can be very dangerous for this character. Anyways, let's train with the crossbow a little bit. We have got five and thrown rocks now, four thrown daggers, crossbows only two. Let's train it a little bit. Just as a little spoiler, we are not going to fight uh, uh, the corrupted evil druid at the bottom of this dungeon right now. All we are going to do is to scout uh, the dungeon till we uh, reach the bottom level and then retreat from it. We just want the loot and the experience to increase our chances of survival in the Caverns of Chaos. Then after entering the Caverns of Chaos, after getting to Dwarf Town, we return here and finish what we started in this episode.
But all in all, at this point, I am kind of happy with how Muna is doing. I forgot just one thing. I wanted to take off the body armor and use the studded leather armor, which gives us plus three protection. That's absolutely worth. Drop the other armor. That also saves a bit of uh, carrying capacity. And now go down to the dungeon level six. Fall down the stairs. Here we get down to seven. I'm not gonna go there yet. But first, six has to be scouted completely. And the centipede must die. Do a corpse, a corpse, a corpse? No, sadly no corpse. Giant centipede corpses also uh, give you poison resistance. And of course, we want that. Leather apron is worse than our studded leather armor. Wanna kick it? Wanna kick it? 67, kick. Uh, you're not nimble enough to wait for tall drop. We've, we lost a quarter of undead slaying, which is actually a pretty bad. Damn. I prefer to use a lose anything else. Got. Oh, we lost all the chorus we shot there. But what I'm really happy about is the, the, the realistic chance that we are fire resistant. So good. Spare? No, we don't need that. Quite a lot going on in here. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Nice. to the downstairs. We are out of ammunition. I do not think that three short bows are our cost. So time to train a little bit with a short bow. We had more <laughs> with our two arrows. Excellent. A lot of uh, short bows, but no arrows. Let's rather swap back to throwing rocks at our enemies. I think that makes us a lot stronger, more dangerous at the moment. And down here we go. That's a neutral altar! Excellent! And it's not even the bottom level, so let's get some piety. Sacrifice this guy. Oh, that's not even the druid dungeon! We are we are not doing the druid dungeon. Nice! We're doing the healer quest, correct. Where was the road to the to the upstairs? Where was it? Excellent. So let's finish this quest. It's perfect. This is the shortest way to get to the stairs from here. Don't take this. 
Oh no. Yeah, that. Oh, that hurts. Do we care? Nah, not at all. We are at the level with the healer. No, all we have to do is find the healer without getting killed by the shaman. So, in order to not get killed, we kill him. Fuck. Good. Where was it? I think it was down there. Yeah, here he is. Oh no 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 no, we are too too hurt in order to uh, fight the zombie now, we have to get rid of uh, the carpenter first. Hey dude, could you maybe do your job? Jared the healer touches Urix the mad carpenter. Jared the healer grants, let me heal your friend. Urix the mad carpenter suddenly appears to be normal once more. He bows to you and puts down some items before he leaves. Excellent, we did it. Now let's talk to the healer. Well, mad sister, would you like to learn or be healed? I'd like to be healed first. Are we able to heal you five more times? Now I would like to kill that damn zombie over there and now I'd like to learn. I will teach you the art of healing. So here it is, we have now the healing skill at a skill level of 30. Excellent, that will help us. It will take us a lot less time to get our uh, HP back up now. The headshot, a rock, a white potion, huge manual. Excellent guys. And you know what? I think this is a good point to end the first episode in the adventures of Muna the rat who is actually a cat. We were pretty successful, we got a couple of points in strength, got a point in learning, a point in mana, we also got uh, three points of protection value. We survived, which is very good, took a conservative approach, not any big risks, but well, that's how I hope to get back into the game. And it was really fun, after such a long while, to finally record an episode again. Can't wait to see if there are a couple of you guys who also have been looking forward to see that, maybe. Maybe not. Even if not, I so much enjoy playing this game again that it's absolutely worth recording this. <laughs> and anyways, like I said, I still hope you enjoyed this series. Tell me what I can improve on the quality as always. I suck at these things. Maybe as a step-by-step -step guide how to do it. I will do my best to do it then in the next episode. And uh, bye guys. See you next time.